guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the Captain Popman channel once again. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos and you do like what you see, remember hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and show this UK collector some love guys. Thank you so much. Today, another Marvel Legends review. We haven't had one for a little bit of time now actually on this channel, so apologies for that guys. Apologies for all you people that tune in for the Marvel Legends reviews. I've just been really, really busy. Had a lot of stuff to actually, actually go through and stuff like that. So we've got tons of Marvel Legends left. We've got tons of Funko Pop left to review. So yeah, it is a bit just a case of getting through it bit by bit, uh, stage by stage. And I don't want to do everything like all the Marvel Legends at once. I don't want to do all the Funko Pop at once. I just want to do the Marvel Legends, the Funko Pop, kind of, you know, like sporadically. So maybe a Funko Pop, a Toy Hunt, then a Marvel Legend, and so on and so forth, that sort of stuff, guys. So yeah, we are back with a Marvel Legend. Legend review. This time we are looking at Ronin from the Avengers Endgame Wave 1, if I remember correctly. Really, really cool figure. Always wanted a Hawkeye Ronin figure, that sort of thing, but obviously I think the only Hawkeye that they do was back from Avengers Age of Ultron. I'm not too sure, but I do think that's the only one they've done so far. What's happening with this focus? There we go, that's better, sorry about that. So yeah, we are actually concentrating on Ronin. Really, really happy to have one in this collection. It was one that I'd seen a couple of times before, always passed him by, picked him up and thought, shall I, shall I? But I all, at this time I did actually pick him up, guys. So yeah, really, really excited to get him. I will show him you up close and personal. Sorry about the mess on the box there. That's uh, the horrendous price sticker that left behind loads of sticky residue. How annoying is it when that happens on the boxes we want to save? So yeah, obviously a little bit messy at the top there, guys. So sorry about that. But there you can see Ronin with his accessories and with the builder figure piece as well. You have the spot varnished Avengers A logo on the top, as you always tend to do with these ones. You've got some really, really nice artwork on the side there of Ronin. That looks really, really cool. And then obviously you've got the artwork on the back as well with the little blurb. There are the figures from the other wave. So it is the Thanos Builder figure wave, as you can see, guys, the armoured Thanos. In this wave, we actually have Captain America in the Quantum Realm suit, Ronin, Ebony Moore, uh, Living Laser. We've got Marvel's Nighthawk, is that? Uh, Citizen V, and then we have Hercules on there as well, guys. So, yeah, not too many I'm fussed about in this wave, to be honest with you. I do have the Quantum Realm cap, um, and I obviously I have Ronin, and I would really like Ebony Moore as well to add to the, the uh, you know, the Order of the Black sort of thing. Uh, Thanos' children, you know. So, yeah, really, really cool figure, guys. Really, really happy to get this one out of the box and open it up, see what he looks like, and get him post on the shelf, guys, with the other legends that we have in the collection. So let's get him out of the box. Let's have a quick look, and let's see what we think. Before I do that, just remembered, I will read you the blurb on the back as well. So the blurb states, Ronin, Clint Barton is a master sharpshooter and skilled martial artist who fights alongside the Avengers. And he is. So yeah, really, really cool, guys. And as I said, really, really excited to get this one out of the box. So let's crack him open. Let's have a look and let's see what we can, uh, what we make of it and that sort of stuff. So we will just cut the tape as careful as we can. Why? Anyone that's watched my previous videos knows why do we be as careful as we can with the box? Because we like to store them and have them stacked side by side, guys. Not that any of you are interested, maybe you are, but one time I will show you all the empty boxes that I have and obviously how the artwork looks and how they look when they're actually stood side by side next to each other because the artwork is really, really cool, to be honest. They look really, really good. So yeah, let's take him out of the box. Pop him there, take the front of the plastic off. And there you can see him, guys. Looks absolutely awesome out of the box. No more glare, which is great stuff. And there we can see him a bit more up close. Really like the detail on the costume, guys. I think he looks awesome. So, yeah, let's take him out. Obviously, as, as always with the Marvel Legends, or this particular set of Marvel Legends, you do have the back in, the Avengers A logo on the back. Awesome to take pictures of your figures in front of. I've actually started doing that on Instagram now, so some of the Marvel Legends I have, I have been taking photos with this as the background, and it looks really, really cool, to be honest with you. It looks really, really good. So if you want to go check out my Instagram, which is at Captain Popman, I post so much stuff on there, pictures of Pops, pictures of action figures, pictures of Marvel Legends, you know, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, some really cool photos on there guys so please go check that out at captain popman thank you so let's uh crack him out of the box and let's see what we think 
I am really excited for this one, guys. I have heard that he's a cool figure. My little bro actually has Ronin already. I've seen him, what he looks like out of the box, and he does look really, really cool. So I'm really excited to get him in some dynamic poses for you guys and see what you think. I know already that I am going to be posing him 100% with the uh, with the throwing star leg. I think, I think with the throwing stars, that's what I'll probably do. And the hood's come off. That's cool, though. I like that. So let's just pop that quickly back on there. So as you can see, there he is up close and personal, guys. Looks really, really cool. Really, really, really like the details on him. You know, the eyes, if you can see those, look really, really cool as well. But yeah, as you can see, guys, he looks absolutely awesome. Really, really cool figure. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to get him in some dynamic poses. And like I say, have him with that hand throwing the ninja stars out. So yeah, cool. And one of the things that I do like as well, as you've just seen, the hood actually pops off guys so if you want to display him without the hood you can do that as well no problem whatsoever so i'll pop that back on for the time being and we'll look at a few of his accessories so he does actually come with the gauntlet hand of thanos as you can see there guys so he's got the infinity gauntlet on there not sure i like that color to be honest with you i know it's it's, it's a bit bronzy um, I know it's not completely gold in the movie, but I do prefer the SH Figure Arts version of the gauntlet uh, that you know, Thanos wears sort of thing. So, yeah, it's cool, but it's not the best version of the gauntlet I've seen. But, yeah, so we get that, which is really, really cool. Then we also actually get the Throwing Stars hand as well, guys. So that looks really, really good. I don't know if you can see that. But, yeah, really, really cool. Really like how they've done that kind of with the, the action of the Throwing Stars coming out of the hand. And that's how they've kind of attached it inside. So that looks really, really good. Really cool to see that accessory. And I do love the gold on the inside of the glove as well. I think that looks awesome. You've got the black with the gold stripe on one side. And then the completely gold palm on the other side, which looks sweet. Really like that touch. So I'll pop that down there. And then we do have Clint's swords as well. So one a little bigger than the other. Like I said, one that's probably going to display. As you can see that. One that's going to display, obviously, with him holding. The other one we're actually going to display in the satchel that comes on his back. So, yeah, and that looks really, really cool. Kind of happy with that. And then, obviously, we've got a smaller version of that as well, guys. So, you can see there in a bit more detail, the smaller version of the blade. Quite plain silver, but plain black handle. Not that I can see really many in-depth paint features on these swords. But still, they look really, really cool and they do fit obviously really, really well with the character of Ronin. So yeah, excited to look at them one, guys. So what we're going to do, as always, is I'm going to pose him up. We're going to put him on the other background to give you guys an up-close and personal look at Ronin. So do bear with and I'll be with you in just a second, guys, when we've got him all, all nice and posed up for you. Okay, guys, so here you can see Ronin. I've got him posed in this really, really cool action pose so far, throwing the uh, throwing stars out there. Really, really like that a lot. I think he looks absolutely awesome. You can see I've actually put one of the longer blades actually in his hand, and then we've actually put the shorter blade in the actual thing on the back here, so that just slides in and out like that, Looks which looks really, really cool. Uh, articulation, so we said it earlier, so his mask does actually come off, so if you want a closer look at Ronin there, you can see Clint Barton's eyes behind that epic Ronin mask, you can see that that's, that does come off no problem, and I will remove that as well, just obviously so we can go through the articulation with you as well. So you can see that his head is on a ball joint, so he does look left and right, he can look not too far up actually because of the collar on the back here. And he can look around that far down, so not too bad. Again, that jacket does kind of get in the way a little bit. Arms do actually rotate 360. He's really, really tight at the moment, guys. So it's just that is a tough one to kind of get rotated around, but that does rotate 360. You have a double jointed elbow as always on the Marvel Legends, which looks really, really cool. And it does help get him into some awesome dynamic poses as well. The fists and the hands obviously are on pivots as well, so you can rotate them around if you want to. Ab crunch, I think there is an ab crunch, but it's hid behind the jacket, so you can't really mess about with it too much, which is a little bit frustrating, but still not the worst I've seen by any means. Legs, as you can see, do come quite far out as well. They are on butterfly joints there. He does have the double jointed knees, as always, guys. But again, he's really, really stiff. So you've really got to push that one back on my figure is anyway. Really stiff. Really feels like he'll break if you push him too hard. And then, obviously, the feet. Has he, has he up and down? 
Can't really, there is rotation, but I don't think there's any up and down motion on there, which is a little bit frustrating. But yeah, looks really, really cool overall, guys. I am really, really happy with him. He's an awesome figure. If we just look a little bit more up close at the gold paintwork, so you can see it's really, really nice there on the boots. I like that a lot. There's some really cool paintwork there. Same on the knees and those knee pads that he's got. They look really, really good on the front and on the side as well. If we move further down, you've got that nice gold that gold belt buckle there with the silver zip going up the front which looks really really cool and then obviously the gold on the satchel and all that nice depth in the jacket as well that kind of black texturing that they've done looks really really cool i like that a lot and if we move down to his head a bit again you can see the gold trim going around the mask gold on the inside of the gloves as we mentioned earlier looking at the accessories which looks cool and the gold going around the top part of the costume as well which i like a lot and then just to get a bit of a closer look and you can see him actually what he looks like throwing out those epic throwing stars that he has. So if we turn him round a little bit, again, really, really like that gold on the back of the costume. Looks really cool and really makes the black stand out. I think that looks awesome. I do like this little bit here as well. So they've actually got some markings on the actual back uh, of where his swords go, which looks really, really cool. Not too much gold on the back of the legs, but again, really, really like the gold touches that they have put on there, guys. I think he looks absolutely awesome. And then if we just put his hood back on as well, kind of get that tucked in. You can see he looks even better, guys. Really, really like that pose. I think that looks awesome. We'll move his around just a bit but I think realistically that's how I'm going to have him posed guys more than likely just kind of throwing the throwing stars in kind of a ninja style stance so yeah really really cool like him a lot think he looks absolutely awesome cannot wait to get him on the shelf let's do a few comparisons with a few of the other figures that we have in the collection okay guys so there we have Ronin stood next to Black Widow aka uh, Natasha Romanov Looks really, really cool together. Obviously, these two are really good friends in the movies, in the comic books. So, yeah, I had to pose these two together. Really, really like how they look. I know, obviously, Ronin's in Avengers Endgame, where Black Widow's hair is red with a tint of blonde at the bottom. And, obviously, this Black Widow from Infinity Wars got fully blonde, blonde hair, but it still works. Uh, so, yeah, really, really cool comparison there, guys. I think they scale really, really well together. And then, finally, as we always do, we have... Ronin scaled next to the SH Figure Arts Thanos. Really, really cool. Think they scale together really, really well as well. Obviously, Ronin holding the sword does make him look slightly taller, but again, you're going to scale your Marvel Legends with your SH Figure Arts. They scale together really, really well as well. Really, really good as well, guys. So yeah, really happy with that. So let's go back to the main cam and finish off the video for you. So there we have it, guys. Ronin up close and personal. Really, really cool figure. Like this one a lot. Really happy to have him in the collection. I love the dynamic pose I've got him in. Love this whole throwing star motif that he's got going. I think that looks absolutely awesome. So yeah, really, really happy. Really, really good to have. Glad to have this one in the collection. If we can get him to stand, which we can. Awesome stuff. So yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Thank you so much for tuning in to another Marvel Legends review. Really hope you guys enjoy these Marvel Legends just as much as I do because believe me, I love collecting them. Me and my little bro, we absolutely adore collecting them. It's great going out and getting new ones all the time. So yeah, absolutely sweet. So if you did like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Show me some love as always, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, take it easy.